Before we start, um, for the, our panel for the last week or so, um, we've been doing a bit of a series on stocks that you'd have on your watch list if there was a crash in the market. One of those stocks where a pullback in the market you don't fear of, you say, you think to yourself, well, gee, you know, now um, this particular stock is back to a, a reasonable level. It's a good time to buy. Um, Francesco, what's a, what's a good stock on your watch list for, uh, for a pullback to get into? Well, look, I'm trying to be look at things in, in two, two aspects here. One's being defensive in nature. Um, so I, I like infrastructure stocks uh, in, in that sort of environment because the asset values uh, don't change a great deal. Um, and, and um, yeah, they can be, the earnings can be fairly um, fairly stable for them. So so ultimately, uh, you know, infrastructure stocks like Transurban, ATA and the like um, would be, you know, something for my portfolios that, act as defensive um, assets. Um, the only thing to be um, concerned about here would be if interest rates start to rise, these things act as what they call bond yield proxies. So um, the market fears that because they're so highly geared, um, their expenses go up because interest costs for them go up. But one thing that has occurred over the last sort of five to 10 years is, is these stocks uh, in a very low interest rate environment have uh, locked in very low rates for very long periods of time. So right. um, I don't think those interest rate rises are going to have as big an impact as they had in the past. The other aspect um, I would be looking at would be um, some ETFs out there um, that work inversely with the market. So two that I'll mention, one is BBOZ uh, um, and the other is BBUS. Uh, um, the, these are basically... Uh, work in negative correlation to the market. So um, if you look at BBOZ, uh, it works negatively to the ASX 200. Uh, the underlying manager uses futures uh, to create a, a negative response. So if the ASX 200 falls, uh, the share price of these exchange traded funds go up. Likewise with the BBUS, uh, they act negatively with the S&P 500. So there's two ideas uh, for those that are, are worried about moving into potentially negative markets. Okay. Uh, David, what's a stock that's on your radar? Every, every professional investor has, has a watch list, don't they, that if the market pulls back, they see that as an opportunity to uh, to get set. Yeah, look, I, it's hard to go past Collins Food, uh, David. If you look at Collins Food and their growth, you know, going back to 2012, share price was just over a dollar, and here it is today, over $13. So it's had a stellar uh, growth uh, during that period, same sort of store sales, and plus in growing internationally is the biggest factor for Collins Food with KFC, of course. And um, they've just acquired nine uh, stores in the Netherlands for about 10 million euros. And their, their plan is to open up 130 KFC stores uh, in the Netherlands in the next 10 years. So they've got a really good growth outlook. Um, you know, they're a little bit pricey up here on, on the earnings multiple. So that's why I would be, you know, certainly if there was a, a crash, that would be one of the stocks that would be on my radar right. for sure. And it's, you know, they're, they're emulating sort of pretty much like Domino's Pizza, you know, with their international growth. And it's a great defensive stock too, if you think about it. If things, the economy turns down, you know, people will cut back on spending and, and, and probably turn to more like fast foods, like during the COVID period. So they've had some fantastic growth during this period. Now, the other one is a fund. It's the Long Short Fund. LSF is the ticker code. Um, stellar uh, performance by the fund managers. Uh, you know, the last 12 months, they came up with a profit after tax of 514 million, 715 million before tax. And uh, the share price, I mean, pre-COVID, it was $1.50. It's now approaching $3. And it got to a low, which I believe was 75 cents. Still trading at a discount to NTA of around 11 percent but um you know it's been a stellar performance by the fund managers their nta value went up 72 percent in the last 12 months so they they really kick some goals here um and they make money when the market goes down so yeah that's it yeah no that's interesting henry jennings had that as his uh crash stock uh, last week and in a similar vein gorad sodi had dominoes for the same reason you've got collins as well so some really good suggestions there